Oh, hi there, everyone. How are you all doing? Oh, absolutely uh, miserable weather outside today. <laughs> but I thought I'd drop in and have a pre-weekend um, say hello to everyone. It's making this absolutely ginormous billiard. Um, compare it to the size of a clipper. Yeah, remarkable pipe actually. I think I paid about five euros for it off eBay. And there's no maker's stamps, um, there's no fills, there's no um, um, sand pits. It's, it's a really nice piece of briar. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, the drilling spot on, I, I, I don't think it would have been a basket pipe because it's, you know, if it had a name on it, it'd be it'd probably be a reasonably priced pipe. Pipe, I'd imagine. Um, kind of makes me wonder if somebody um, took it home in their lunch break at a, a pipe making um, workshop or factory one day. Actually, <laughs> it's possible. These things happen, I'm sure. And we're smoking Robert McConnell Oriental, original Oriental. I'll, I'll do a close-up of the pipe and the tobacco. Um, now's a good time for that, actually, isn't it? Isn't going to focus. Yeah, I mean, it's an, it's, an, it's an absolutely lovely pipe. It's really big. It's enormous. And there's um, no pits, no fills, no maker's stamps. The drilling spot on, you know, I don't think it would be a basket pipe. Maybe somebody took it home with them one day at the pipe factory. <laughs> All things are possible. This is the, uh, this is the tobacco. Focus, focus. Hopefully it's focusing. Yeah, it's sort of a nice proportion of uh, blacks and browns. It's quite inviting looking, I think, quite autumnal. Hmm. Ah, so this is it's an incredible, incredible uh, tin note. Very rich, you got that sort of figgy kind of thing, which I guess is the Perique. The latter key is there, but very, very in the um, in the background. Very much as a condiment, and just this this, this gorgeous, rich, rich tobacco smell. Um, again, you know, it's the old. Uh, Mahogany and leather book um, kind of uh, kind of smell, I guess. Yeah, and it's, it's it's incredibly smooth to smoke. I mean, it's quite hard to to pick out the the individual components. You know, the the main players, the Orientals, you know, the Virginias are there to give them a bit of a, a bit of a backbone, I guess. But it's this not overly sweet from the Virginias. I mean. It's got Cavendish in it as well, but I, I think that's just to dilute it out a bit, possibly, because it's it's, it's not very sweet um, tobacco. It's nice. You get the odd cigar note from the um, Orientals, and the latter key is very much in the in, in the background. It's there. You're aware of it, but it's it's, it's not it's not a lap bomb at all. Which is kind of good. I go through stages of Latakia, and um, funnily enough, I couldn't get enough of it in the summer. And uh, when we entered the autumn, I kind of got more and more into in, in, into straight Virginias. Actually, um, I think some people actually do it the other way around. Well, I've just started another YouTube channel, actually. I mean, a couple of you guys know that, um, yeah, I, I sometimes make a bit of electronic music. And normally, my, you know, my stuff on SoundCloud's a bit sort of acid-y, dub, techno-y kind of thing, I guess. 
But since all this this lockdown started, I've I've sort of been um, doing a lot more um, what I describe as more um, sort of ambient orchestral soundtrack um, sort of longer pieces of music. And I thought, hey, why not? So I um, mean, yeah, I uploaded one yesterday. I'll, I'll put the channel down below actually. Um, some people will probably laugh at the description and the title and the reason. For, oh, bear with me. The reason for. Um, doing that is actually that's what people seem to search for on youtube for that genre of music um and some of these channels get like sort of 20 million views you know which i very much doubt i'll ever get to so yeah if you have a look it might make you chuckle the uh, description in the title but hey you know if that's what sells as it were but yeah you know it's been uh, quite, quite enjoyable i'm trying to get more people on board so if any of you um you know, do music or have any recordings or poets or anything like that. It'd be really great, you know, if, you know. So you've got some lines of poetry that you've recorded. You could send them over to me and, you know, get a bit of a, a what's the word, a collaboration. You know, it'd be really good to, to sort of um, have a bit of a bit of an art project with some like minded people. I put a call out to my friends on Facebook yesterday, actually, and yeah, it's a couple of people that are interested, you know, that, that I know that, that are good at um, kind of video um, editing and video art, um, sort of digital art. And yeah, they're up for doing some video work. And um, yeah, so who knows? Drop us, you know, drop a comment if, if that's something that would interest any of you. It'd be great. Oh, man, what's going on? Uh, Oh, the other thing, yeah, I think I'm going to give this video a really clickbaity title, actually, and um, yeah, <laughs> it's a slightly amusing story. So, what, what am I going to call this video? Um, How to get more views on YouTube. Yeah, that's probably another title that sells. But um, true story. I mean, mo most of my pipe videos, unless it's like a tobacco tutorial, generally get a hundred, hundred and fifty views. You know, but. I put a video up a few weeks ago, some of you might have seen, um, was it Getting Wood with Kentucky Bird. Now, for some reason, this, this went shooting ahead, and now it's, you know, it's about 700 views or something. And I'm like, That's just, this is quite inexplicable. And so I figured out how to go into Google Analytics, and you can see um, how your video's been placed. And most of the traffic for this particular video, um, it was... YouTube next video suggestion algorithm that placed it um, and there's a big list of videos that it placed it afterwards and oh man I, I had no idea this stuff existed on YouTube but there must be some adult content thing on YouTube um, because it appeared that my video was placed as the next suggested video in some quite extreme triple x adult entertainment um, <laughs> you know the stuff i mean i mean yeah if you have a look through your spam box in your uh, i'm sure you know what i mean guys yeah milfs and uh, blah 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 and i thought wow this this is this is mighty strange and what i've kind of deduced is it must be in the title now Potentially, Kentucky Bird is, 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 is a porn actress. I, I have no idea. I mean, in England, the colloquialism for, for uh, nobody really uses it now, but Bird can, or, you know, maybe my, more my parents' generation would call women a bird. Oh, she's a fit bird, but, yeah, I mean, it's not that common now. And, of course, we all know the euphemism um, for wood. And all, all I can think is that, yeah, the, 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 somehow the YouTube algorithm picked up getting wood with Kentucky Bird as some kind of... Uh, <laughs> oh, bizarre, bizarre. So, guys, if you want to get more views, um, just use some risque double entendre meanings for your titles, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, very strange, very amusing. Well, I'm going to get back to my creative workflow, I think. And, uh, yeah, maybe catch you over the weekend. Um, thanks to all my new subscribers. Um, yeah, it's awesome. 
Uh, yeah. I should go through and thank everyone individually, but, oh, man, you get behind on this stuff and nobody wants to watch a video of me um, reeling off 50 names. So I guess um, shout-outs to new subscribers probably isn't going to ever be on the menu. But thank you so much. It's, it's awesome. It means a lot, you know. And um, yeah, those of you who have channels, I, I do my best to um, sub you back. And uh, I, I try to go through every morning and see, um, you know, see, see who's making content. And, uh, but, yeah, it's awesome, you know. Um, so anyway, happy piping and uh, have a great weekend if I don't see you over the weekend, guys. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and um, yeah, see you all soon. Take care now. I think this light is on its last legs.